great example of how the truth can prevail if you just continue to put out the truth and have the long view of history. For 30 years, Congressman Ron Paul has fought. Uh, he has exposed the private Federal Reserve. He's having victory there now, thanks to all the great supporters out there. He's now all over mainstream television. The New York Times, the L.A. Times, the Houston Chronicle say Ron Paul is right, you know, from outsider to mainline. And thank God he's been there telling the truth so that people now have a choice between collectivism, big government, and tyranny. He's with us for the next 30 minutes to talk about a host of issues. Uh, Congressman Ron Paul, out of the gates, our first interview with you of 2010, what do you think is most important right now? Well, the big issue is uh, how much of our freedom uh, we're going to have, you know, in the next year or two. Are we losing it? And I say we are, and that to me is the biggest issue because – I have such confidence in free people that when we're free and left alone and allowed to keep the fruits of our labor, things take care of themselves. We can do a much better job than the government. But uh, if you go more specifically, I would say there are two. One is, uh, you know, our expanded involvement overseas, which uh, poses a danger to us, physical danger as well as the danger to the men that have to go over there. And then uh, the next thing I would be most concerned about is what I think is going to happen to the economy. I, I, I don't think uh, this is past as I think we're just barely into the correction because they're doing everything possible to prevent the correction. And you always have to have a correction in order to get back to work again. Well, I want to go over that in some detail coming up in the interview, what's happening with all these expanded wars. Uh, but first off, secret health care conference going on this week. Obama had promised to put it on C-SPAN, but I don't know how he has the authority over Congress. But now Obama says, okay, one hour, kind of a staged event with talking points. The public can see that. Uh, your take on that, Congressman? Well, it, it just shows the hypocrisy of the whole thing, what people say in campaigns and then what they do afterwards. But most of the time, uh, the important things that come out of Washington are done in secret. I've known that for ever since I've been in Washington. The conference has always been very, very secretive. And I think one time in 1980, they had the Monetary Control Act come up, and the most important part of the bill uh, came up in the conference. They stick it in the conference. used to be, well, theoretically, the conference is supposed to bring the numbers together. If the House has 50 and the Senate has 100, you're supposed to agree on the compromise and go with 75. But the conference is where they do all the mischief, and that's where, uh, you know, the big deals are made. When the conference report comes back to the House floor, it's usually brought back with a one-hour debate, no amendments, and most people think, oh, we fully discussed this. How did I vote for this before? Oh, I voted against this. I'll vote against it again. And uh, so this is what's going on. I'm not surprised at all. Uh, they're, they're never we're going to tell us exactly what's in there, and it'll be months, if not years, to figure out exactly what the consequences will be, because then we will have delivered a lot of power to the agencies of government. Then the agencies write all the rules and regulations, and there'll be tax codes changes, and we won't know for years exactly what happens. I know there's a lot of condemnation of people not reading those bills, and of course, uh, it's impossible to read them or understand them, but I don't think there is any one individual that could read both of those bills and know what's in it. You know, they're so bad. That's why anytime you come upon a situation like this, any member of Congress ought to just vote no on it because they know it's, a, uh, you know, it's no good. And this fact that they you know, do it in secret means that uh, you can't trust what they're doing. It's over 4,000 pages with both versions uh, and, and jail time and new taxes and cutting benefits, even socialist like uh, Dennis Kucinich in the House with you and even the head of the Democratic Party have said it's not a good bill. No, and the, the left, my, there may be some on the left that will oppose it, but they'll probably only oppose it because there's not enough government. And uh, fortunately, you know, uh, the Republicans are doing a better job of sticking together on this. Uh, you know, if, if Bush were president, that wouldn't be the case. We'd be getting some more prescription drug program so uh congressman right now the republicans are sticking together and opposing stay it. there I hope we can stop it